covering Wisconsin weather for 20 years. Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. We're only three days into the new month, but the January thaw is already approaching. Tomorrow we're going to see mid 20s, pretty close to normal for this time of year. Upper 20s on Tuesday and then 30s return. In fact, mid to upper 30s by the time we get to Thursday, Friday and Saturday. And once again, that is way above normal for this time of year. Right now we are looking at mid to upper 20s across northeast Wisconsin. It is currently 28 in Sturgeon Bay. We've got 27 in Oshkosh, 29 degrees in Wapaka. Most of us had a high right around 30 earlier this afternoon. It is 27 degrees in Appleton in Green Bay. It is 25, but we've got a westerly wind at around 5 to 10 miles per hour. So that's making it feel colder out there. Wind chills right now range from the lower teens to the lower 20s. In Berlin, it feels like 10. It feels like 20 in Kiwani and in Manitowoc right now. It feels like 15 degrees. Once again, here's a look at your forecast for this evening. Tailgating temperatures are currently in in the mid 20s, but it feels colder with that wind. We've got a lot of clouds out there. The temperature will probably go up a little bit as we head towards kickoff and then hold in the mid 20s through the game. We're going to have the chance for a couple of flurries out there with a northwest wind at around 5 to 15 miles per hour. We've had some on and off spotty light snow or flurries throughout the day. As you take a look at precision radar, you can see some of that activity kind of shifting off towards the south. We actually broke into some sunshine for about about an hour or so here in Green Bay, but now the clouds have moved back in. Up to the north, we have an area of lake effect snow showers and flurries across the UP and far northwestern Wisconsin. This activity you see right here is all developing along a cold front, and that cold front is actually coming in from the north and east. It's a backdoor cold front, and that cold front will slide across the area later on tonight into tomorrow morning. Behind the cold front, it is colder, 28 degrees in Green Bay this afternoon, 23 in Marquette. So we're going to see some of that colder weather kind of shift to the south and west, and then it'll come back, the warmer weather that we've been experiencing as we head deeper into the week. Speaking of warmer weather, Today was another relatively mild one. We were five degrees above normal. We've now had 36 straight days with at or above normal high temperatures. Tomorrow is going to be a close call. The normal high is 25. I'm going for a high right around 24 or 25 degrees. Precision cast shows that chance for a few flurries. Maybe a little bit of lake effect snow near the lake later on tonight into tomorrow morning as winds kind of back to the north and east. And then we'll see morning clouds give way to a lot of sunshine by the afternoon. So tonight mostly cloudy. A few flurries. Lows will be in the teens eventually late tonight into tomorrow morning. Tomorrow some morning flurries are possible along with clouds and then increasing sunshine. Look for a high temperature right around 24. 29 and mostly sunny on Tuesday, increasing clouds on Wednesday. Then we start to warm up as another bigger system kind of develops across the central part of the country. We're going to see our winds turn to the south and east, and it's going to be warm enough that we'll have periods of some light rain, sleet, freezing rain or snow, kind of a wintry mix as we head through Thursday, Friday and Saturday. And of course, we're all hoping the Packers win tonight and we will have a game if that happens at Lambeau on either Saturday or Sunday. Right now, it looks like temperatures will be above normal with the chance for a light wintry mixture. All right, another perfect day at Lambeau. Yeah, tonight looking great. All right, thanks, Cameron. Yep. Well, more than a foot of snow fell 